The NFL draft is over, but one never forgets that moment when your name is called. That's according to one Texans linebacker who next week is hosting a very special event. It's Whitney Merciless back for another go round with Jason Bristol on the drive. <laughs> Oh my goodness, for a second time, Whitney Merciless. No doubt, Jay, what's going a on, man? A second time. Yes, sir. You're in the seat more than my wife. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know whether that's a good thing or bad thing. No, no, I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> no. kidding, I'm kidding. Um, wow, think about this. It was, what, eight years ago you were drafted? Is that, is yeah. that, is that, that's a can long that time. really be it? Man, time flies by. What do you remember most about that draft day? Because you weren't at the draft. No, you were no, with I, your friends and family and all that? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. So I was, I was with family, friends and family. And, uh, man, I just remember just sitting there just waiting for my name to be called. I thought I was going to go a lot earlier, but I dropped down to about, you know, like, the 10, you know, 26th mm -hmm. pick. And, uh, man, I was like, I'm ecstatic. I went the first day. I was like, I, I did not drop it to the second round. And the sure. weight? And yeah. the weight? Oh, yeah. It, the anticipation? Mm -hmm. uh, it was just nerve-wracking. Like, everybody's like, oh, you're going to go to Chicago? Because, uh, you yep. know, I went to the mm -hmm. University of yep. Illinois. Uh, everybody was like, oh, man, where are you going to go? Maybe San Diego. Nope. They just kept on dropping. So I'm like, man, I might not survive this first round. I might be going the, uh, uh, might be going the, uh, the second day. Sure enough, got picked up. Everybody was ecstatic. There's a video out there that, like, my husband, like, it was pretty much a mosh pit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one piece of advice you wish you had gotten as a just drafted player? Man, I wish I would have, uh, you know how they get you ready for combine and that's yeah. just like, it's like a track meet. you're yeah. preparing for a track. Meet. Yeah, exactly. Track you got, I would have told myself, be ready for football specific drills. Like mm -hmm. get that, like get your conditioning level up because you pretty much are running you like a horse as soon as you get in. <laughs> Celebrity bartending event. Oh, yes, sir. And this benefits your program, which helps kids yeah. back to school supplies? Yep. Oh, yeah. So, Cocktails for a Cause, which is happening next Thursday, uh, the 2nd, May 2nd. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll be me bartending with all my teammates and all that. Uh, so everybody can go to withmercy.org to get tickets. And it'll be benefiting our uh, other event, which is in August. And that'll be, uh, yeah, that will be supporting, it's called Returning to Learning. Supporting okay. a lot of children with, uh, you know, backpack supplies, haircuts, and you know, clothing, and also um, uh, physicals as well, too. We service about 800 ch children with the last two years. Uh, we're it's been growing each year, it's like doubling. And so we're looking for this year to service about a thousand plus children. And that's great that you were able to help all these kids, but also I think it shows that how many people truly need help. Right? Yeah, big time, big time. It's like, it's so, you know, just working with this, these children and all that, and really, uh, and really understanding the like the needs and all that, it, and just seeing how much it helps them with like anything that is monetary, or just spending my time with the children and all that, and giving them some encouragement. And it's amazing to see how much help is needed out there, and that was very eye-opening. I mean, I I knew that before I started the foundation. Uh, you know, just working with children in, in general at the uh, at the hospitals, uh, in like you know. Uh, camps and stuff like that. So it was like a huge, huge need. It was super, pretty cool. Way to go, Whitney Merciless. Again, Whitney and his teammates are bartending this coming Thursday in Houston to benefit his foundation. Interested in going? There's general admission tickets all the way up to VIP ones. And we've got a link on our website, khou.com.